here we are at uh, Hintlesham Fisheries. Um, just arrived and got set up. Not fully set up just yet, but uh, but the rods are out, which is the main thing. I was going to start uh, vlogging a minute ago, but uh, Connor wouldn't. Uh, Shane wouldn't shut up. And uh, let me show you Shane. Shane sat. Shane sat there. And uh, oh, I got all excited there. I thought. Uh, oh, it's uh, Shane's rod there. Uh, just teasing us, I think. Um, so let's just give you a quick pan around, and then we'll have a wander around and see Craig. He's probably got the cat. I thought I'd uh, try something different. I'm fairly new to all this carp fishing, and uh, trouble is, I've got um, I've got waffy eyes, as people like to say. So, and I was really struggling with uh, hair rigs and that sort of thing. So, um, somebody suggested trying these uh, bait screws. So, I've uh, purchased a, a few and uh, and uh, made up some rigs, and we'll um, we'll see how they go. Wish me luck. Right, let's go and find Craig and surprise him with bacon and sausage butter. There, there you go, you mate. Go. Sausage and bacon roll. Thank you very much. We're all starting, so, are we? Yeah, we're uh, we're up and running and uh, got some lines out. See what's so what. Got some weed to battle through, but I should be able to cast over that and avoid most of it. But it's, just, it's when you catch that 200 pound catfish that you've got to. Uh, so where are you just you got one around the side here. Well I see the line going off that way. I'm assuming it's that line of uh, clearance between the, yeah, I'm just, just off the edge floating there. foliage. And uh, just off the edge there and the other one's just out. Just by the slap bang in the middle really. Oh just beyond the lilies there. Mm, yeah. Just kick me rod. But it's a swim on it. Have you actually seen much uh, activity on the top here? Nope, nothing. What? Nothing what's little sprout? Little sprout, little silverfish. So what makes you think a, a zig's going to work? It's 13 foot deep, um, 13, 14 foot average. So really? As deep as that? Yeah, so it is predator after all. Well, yeah, that's very true. As they say, 90, 90 pound catfish in five foot. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Has anybody actually seen this 90 pound catfish? Not that you're aware of, no. Huh? no. Biggest I've ever seen out of here, 64. 64? 64 pounds. Mind you, it's a reasonable body of water there, and if it's that deep, then, uh, you know. Well, at the moment, I hope it doesn't come my way, because um, I don't think my carp stuff will, uh, my carp setup will handle a catfish. Well, Craig's finished his spot mix. Yeah, ready for later. I've got a load more to do. But so in here we've got kind of a, a sort of hemp type mix and stuff, particle mix. Sweet corn, some old boilies I had to get rid of and some new boilies as well. So there is some chopped up boilies in there, but it's quite hard to see. And how far are you planning on uh, fishing out with the uh, with the spot in this set well, there? Only in the middle bit really. But just near the uh, just, where I just am, beyond yeah. the, the lilies. The island, yeah. Okay. And uh, I'll put it with the uh, Scopex squid mix. Okay, yeah. There's Shane uh, opting for the zig. I think uh, somebody on one of the other swims has just been quite successful with it. So uh, let's see if uh, Shane can match the uh, the luck with the other. Angler. Not going very confident in zigs. Never thought of one before, but it's funny. That's pretty much what Craig said around the corner uh, when he was uh, trying with his zig. But first time for everything. Is that what you're thinking? You've got to try them to catch them. If you don't have one out there, how are you going to catch on them? Well, that's a pretty cool uh, philosophy. Got to be in it to win it. 
Mm -hmm. I just had a wander around the lake on the opposite side to where I'm fishing and uh, I don't know if you can see this on the camera but there is a carp just on the surface it's just moving to the right now between the two patches of, uh, of weed on the top just moving slightly to the right but that's the only one that I've seen so far that is it's just typical that uh, it is the opposite side of the lake to where I'm at. But I'll keep looking. Um, like just when like the kids had gone to bed and stuff like that, Sky had a big run of those like mega shark versus giant croc oh, yeah. <coughs> movies, and we used to watch them. And you know what you get? Sharknado. Yeah. Sharknado. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, you know what you're getting. It's it's a B movie, but they're quite yeah. entertaining. Some of them, like Croczilla and stuff like that. It's not crab, isn't it? Yeah. So who'd have thought coming fishing when they got Craig talking about crap B movie? Right, Did you get good sleep last night, Craig? No, you ruined it. I ruined it. Yeah, I got a really good please, night's sleep. Please, please. Otherwise, I would have had a very good night's sleep. So but please explain how I ruined your night. Well, your PB went about. I don't know. It was, really it was old, eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock was it? Yeah. So you got you got in the twenty club for carp now, as we're uh, relatively newish to this. I thought you were already on the twenty. No, it was nineteen three. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so yeah. So we've got one at exactly twenty now. And then, was it about three in the morning? That was uh, one o'clock. Oh, one in the one morning. One o'clock. It was three o'clock when I went to bed. Eh? Yeah. So um, two minutes past one, you sent me the picture of the carp. And then at half past two, you sent me a picture of the catfish. Yeah. And then uh, we had a, what well, must be, well, we know it was 50 pound plus catfish. Caught on carp gear quite by mistake. And I have to say, you played it exceptionally well. Well, I have to say my arms ache so much <laughs> and your back and everything else. <laughs> and my back. Who yeah. needs to go to the gym? Yeah, it yeah. was um, our first time landing anything that big, and uh, it was uh, it was quite interesting. So uh, yeah, it was a hell of a fish. It bottomed the scales out at 50, 57. So, but it's a big old thing, as you'll see with the pictures. But it makes you realise that we probably need to change our gear a bit and Ooh. just tactics and stuff like that, really. But. <laughs> It's like going from float fishing to carp fishing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> when you first it was, that carp, you're like, what yeah. the hell is this? Yeah. But yeah, that was a monster, mate. Well done. Really, really good. I'm really pleased with so you. So listen, uh, you put, it, put it into perspective. No, it was. It was so, really good. I have to say, he played it really So there really I was, well. quite happily sleeping. And uh, all of a sudden, the uh, bite alarms went off, which was quite impressive. Um, because I've never really heard them scream quite like that. And uh, I came out and the rod was bent round. And I don't know, I don't know if you can see this, but my line, or the rod was being pulled straight down the lake, down that way, and I just couldn't do a lot about it, I just had to let it run. And uh, it was at that point I thought, this is not a carp, this is a catfish, um, which they have some really, very large catfish in this lake. And... Uh, and I had to be careful because obviously um, for a carp rod I've only got 18 pound line on there and uh, as was just said it took me the you know, best part of an hour or so to uh, to bring it in unfortunately in all the excitement I didn't film any of it um, but there is a photograph or a couple of photographs of it once we did get it onto the bank which I'll uh, include but yeah the scales bottomed out at 50 pound and uh, so <clears throat> we're thinking it was about about 57 pound, which uh, really got the adrenaline going, and, uh, and I found it hard to sleep after that. So uh, maybe uh, Craig's turn tonight. Well, be Craig, might. seeing as you're the one that's got the the catfish uh, setup, 
You, are, are you here tonight? Not here tonight, but I'm going to catch them all during the day. Oh, you, oh right. You're going to catch them all today and then, uh, then get to the chip shop on the way home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or to Tesco's. To Tesco. And other supermarkets are available yeah. to buy your salmon. <laughs> Let's go and see Craig. Saying, seems like he's getting a little bit disheartened, as in uh, not actually had a bite or anything. And uh, I think uh, that might well be the case. He's sitting there sulking with his back to the bank, back to the water. I can spin this really. What's the matter, Craig? You look like you're sulking. No. <laughs> Get your back to the. You <laughs> got your back to the. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? You're yeah. looking like a, a sunburnt harlequin, so you're trying to level it up, yeah, are you? Trying to even it out, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I thought you was, uh, I thought you was sulking. Still uh, <laughs> smile me after your uh, excellent catches. I am. Uh, what is going on with my I camera? Think you should anyway? be as well. Yeah. Everyone loves a good, a good catch. And uh, so, what about the fish you caught then? You must be well chuffed with. Uh, your progress so far? My uh, blanky blank fish, yeah. Blankety blank, yeah. yeah. Bit they, like... It's very rare for me to do it, so I don't mind the occasional blank. Yeah, every fisherman minds a blank. It's, it's, very, it's very rare, I'm, I'm probably overdue. Trying to uh, be careful not to harm the fish. Oh, my scales got. Okay, should have used them for the catfish. <laughs> <laughs> 